festive atmosphere inside the building as we bring you Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us from the floor. Now the starting group for the visitors. Lugans Dort out there with Kelly Olenek. Then it's Murray. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. And a battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. And it's good. Two points. Oh, man. The balance of muscle Giannis possesses is tremendous. Phenomenal at scoring on physical defenses. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And the 10-footer finds the target. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Nails it from three. cupo has got five. And some fans wince when he takes them. But Giannis can and will hit the occasional three-point shot. Here's Brooks. Pass to Olenek to stop the run. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Kalidzikas. Brooks defending. Launches a three. Kalitzikis with a bucket. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And it's Brooks missing. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. From behind the arc. Pure from three-point range. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. One for two that time at the stripe. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. So unafraid of contact, looking to score points in the lane and at the free throw line. Now here's Barrett. No made baskets yet. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And I love the confidence from Barrett. He enjoys finding room inside and capitalizing. Ana Kumpo outside. Three-pointer off the mark. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Leading by nine. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, 
but plenty of time left in this one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points, and the reserves delivered. Sometimes you just need a change of pace. The bench delivered that. Shooting around 59%. They've been outstanding on the offensive end. We've got R.J. Barrett. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Dwight Powell. Then it's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Nimhart in at the shooting guard position. Yep, count it. Barrett's got his second basket of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Out of the Kumpo, outside. Screen by Out Kumpo. Such a wide open look. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Tight defense on him. Pass to Wiggins. Here's the three. SGA from distance. D was too focused on Wiggins scoring easy give to his teammate. Now here's Anadokounmpo. 15 in his last outing. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. And that's just Giannis making the right play, feeding the open man. And here's the fast break. Here's Barrett, and he slams it in one-handed. Big effort, big reward for Barrett. Just what a jam. Shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. Powell against Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Powell. Ana Kumpo, the pass to Ana Kumpo, and the jam by Ana de Kumpo. Nice one-handed jam, simple and effective. Ba. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. And this is a pretty even game right now in Toronto. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Defended by Murray. Tries to spin move. That one drops for him. He's got five. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Three-pointer. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Guarded by Olenek. Pass to Anadokounmpo. There's a screen. The three is up. It's rebounded by Barrett. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Brooks, the pass to Olenek. Left side, Murray. Fires the three. It doesn't go for him. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. It's all about the effort level from Dort on defense. He puts in the work to lock down shooters. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Leading by five. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. <laughs> second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game really an incredible game from Jamal Murray 
Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Anadokounmpo. Giannis throws it down! I mean, the size and athleticism of Giannis, arguably without precedent, an incredibly prolific finisher. Pass to Kalatikas. That one's good. This game is all even. Kalatikas has got 11 points. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as tired as they might be after fighting to tie it up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. After having trailed for a while, they could retake the lead. Nice effort to battle back and put themselves in this position. It's stolen by Olenek. And he gets that one. olenek has gotten his second bucket of the game. Got that one to go. Okay, now one for four to start the second half. Murray for three. That's a miss. And he's seven for 11 from the floor. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard. The feed! The jam! Giannis! Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad. Enabling them to set up a flashy alley-oop. What's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 11. Outside Murray. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got four assists in the game. Yeah, total focus from Shea there. Ready to go off the feed. 143 left to play in the third. Let's it go. Collects the two points near the hoop. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. 133 left in the third quarter. Wiggins looking around. Pass to Powell. Back to Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins with the silky touch at the rim. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Shooting it well, around 55% for the game. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Nimhart. And counted from 12 feet. Nimhart's got 10 points in the game. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. And they look like a completely different team. I wonder what coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum change. 34 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. To the middle. Here's Powell. The three, Barrett, knocks it down from distance. He's got nine. I know Barrett loves to strike from the corners. He just trusts himself to make that shot. Here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, look at Giannis power in. After some misses in the first, he's making up for it now. Outside Murray. With four on the clock, and he takes it up and lays it in. Murray's got 20 points. So active on offense, Murray doing it himself. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. Leading by a point. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four.
take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. There wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. To the wing, right side. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, Giannis using his size inside. And you can see early on that Giannis wanted to be aggressive. I mean, he's taken over at the offensive end. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Powell sets a screen. Free throw line jumper. And he drops that one in. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. To take the lead. And it's good on the layup. Anacupo has got 18 points now here in the second half. <laughs> and he is just showing off right now. I mean, he's giving you leadership. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. From deep, Gilgis Alexander connects from downtown. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. Anacupo against Dort. Hands it from the wing. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Now here's Murray. From deep. Sends it home from three-point land. Murray's got six in the quarter. And this is why they go to Murray in critical spots of the game. He just knows how to come through. Ooh. For three, on target from range. 19 points in the game. And they retake the lead with a bounce back three. Shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Giannis with the rebound. Anacupo's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And they double up Anacupo. Pass to Kalatikis. Anacupo with it. Just five on the clock. Over Gilgis Alexander. The rebound by Murray. Shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. And it's in. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Pass to Kalatikis. 41 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. He's done so I'm much not, damage not. from beyond the arc. And he's still hitting those big shots. And the defense has to know that taking away his three is the number one priority. And he's hurt them all game long. With that shot, it makes no sense. All right, guys, what do you think? If there's enough time on the clock to go for a two-for-one. There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth. Murray passes to Dort. Right side, Murray. Here's Olenek, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Sinks 
the clutch free throw. See, it's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Defended by Murray. Misses the three. On to the Kumpo. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. Gets the first, and that'll put him up two. And this team feels comfortable with Murray at the line, especially when the game is up for grabs. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Wow, doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. All right, guys, what's your take? They should have a play prepared for this scenario. Little time, you need a three. Of course, the D will be guarding the line, but no one said it was going to be easy. Out of the Kumpo, a screen on Murray. Money! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one! Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. The first one drops, and that'll put him up two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Guys, what do you think? An insane scenario. Not enough time for a catch-and-shoot three, so it has to be an alley-oop that draws the and-one foul. Can they tie it? And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis Alexander.